Five to one Carrick Oscar, it's 16 to one bar two. We've reached post time, here's Derek Thompson. They're off and they're racing. Three circuits in front of them and Matty Batchelor's going to take them along with Carruthers. On his inside is Bally Bowley and towards the outside is Feeling Peckish. These are the three who lead them over the first. Then in fourth place is Carrick Oscar. Behind Carrick Oscar is off the shot. The back marker is Supreme Leisure. So there they go, three circuits in front of them and 17 more fences including three ditches. And good to see they're not messing about here. With Carruthers, the odds on favourite, wearing the red sleeves, disputing it with the blinkered Bally Bowley. These two stride for stride, just ahead of feeling peckish, and behind this is Carrick Oscar as they go and jump fence number two. All safely over that. In this weather is Bloodstock Insurance Beginner's Chase. Now swinging left-handed into the back straight for the first time, and these two taking quite a hold up front. Bally Bowley, Alex Merriam being passed on the outside by Matty Batchelor on Carruthers. They're setting a real good pace here as they go down towards fence number three of the 18. Then right behind in third is Feeling Peckish as they come to it and jump it. Then just behind these in fourth place in the green colours with the cheek pieces, that's Carrick Oscar. And bringing up the rear at this stage, off the shelf and finally supreme leisure that's the order as they go towards another plain one this is fence number four Carruthers on the outside pops over a couple of lengths in front of Bally Bowley in second these two about ten lengths clear of moving at the third now Carrick Oscar just ahead of feeling peckish then we've got supreme leisure and the back marker being ridden along is off the shelf Andrew Thornton rode the first winner. He's the back mark at the moment, but there's still a long way to go. Coming towards fence number five, and this is the first of the ditches. The odds on favourite, Carruthers, gives them a good lead over that. From in second place, Bally Bowley. Then comes Carrick Oscar. Behind that is feeling peckish. Then comes Supreme Leisure, and the one who's struggling already is off the shelf. They've got a real good gallop here, and there's still over two circuits to run. So Carruthers from the Mark Bradstock stable leads from Bally Bowley. The Neil King yard in second. Carrick Oscar, Charlie Mann, the trainer in third. Then right behind in fourth is feeling peckish that's the leading four little gap to supreme leisure and finally off the shelf here they come and jump fence number six Carruthers pops over in the lead takes them along at a good clip leads by about uh, six to seven lengths it was fence number one it's fence number seven this time Carruthers pops over nicely oh bit of a mistake in second by Bally Bowley in third place in the green colors is Carrie Koska in fourth is feeling peckish a gap then to uh, supreme leisure and finally off the shelf going down towards the next this is fence number eight of the 18 they'll be jumping in this Weatherby's bloodstock insurance beginners chase Maddie Batchelor about five lengths clear on the long odds on favorite Carruthers in second place is Bally Bowley, and third in the cheek pieces is Carrick Oscar. That's the one, two, three as they go and jump this plain one. Just uh, count them all over that. Yep, they're all over that. Towards the rear, off the shelf, must be about 25 lengths behind this leader, Carruthers. And this one's owned by the Oaksey Partnership. Lord Oaksey bred this horse, and he named this after his uh, mythical butler. So Carruthers leads, goes nicely in the lead, as he should be the odds-on favourite at this stage. Goes towards the first on the far side, jumps it with a good foot to spare. In second place in the pink colours is Bally Bo Runners are at the post now for the 155 at Punchestown at the start. Cup call in fourth is peeling, feeling peckish, then comes supreme leisure and off the shelf. Going towards fence number 10 of the 18. So the past the halfway stage, Carruthers leads by six to seven lengths. From Bally Bowley in second, in third is Carrick Oscar. Swing out the back straight in fourth is Feeling Peckish. These four well clear as they come back towards us for the second time in this three-mile beginner's chase. Coming towards the second of the ditches, fence number 11 of the 18. Carruthers comes to it now, measures it right and pops over in the lead, jumping very well indeed. In second place at this stage is Bally Bowley. In third is Carrick Oscar. Then they're ridden along feeling peckish. These four well clear. So coming back towards us, coming to what will be the last next time round. And still Carruthers leads. In second place now is Carrick Oscar. In third is Bally Bowley. There's about eight lengths between this leading three as they come and jump what will be the last next time round. This time round, the odds on favourite Carruthers leads, but only by about four lengths now. Another beautiful jump by the leader. In second place in the green colours is Carrick Oscar. Third in the pink colours, Bally Bowley. Then a little gap to the fourth horse, Feeling Peckish, who's doing his best to get in touch with this leading three. Then a gap to the 
Joseph Cornwall Horse Supreme Leisure and still going but a long way behind is off the shelf. So, one circuit left to run in the Weatherby's Bloodstock Insurance Beginner's Chase. And Carruthers going nicely, but only by three and a half lengths. Carrick Oscar now moving into second, and two lengths away in third is Bally Bowley. The three principles beginning to go clear of feeling peckish. So, going towards fence number 14 of the 18, they'll be jumping in this. And Carruthers skips over by six lengths. Now in second place, well, it's just Carrick Oscar as they meet the bend at the far end of the track. Then comes Bally Bowley, and this horse has got a real good gallop all the way. Going to Racing at Punchestown, off Punchestown. The first in the back straight, Carruthers, Matty Batchelor. Here he comes into it now. Pops over in the lead, and a mistake in second by Carrick Oscar is down. Carrick Oscar is a faller, and uh, horse is up, waiting for Noel Feely. He looks all right as well. So coming towards the third last, and Carruthers, the long odds on favourite, ten clear of Bally Bowley, who's the only danger. Skips over that, the leader. Bally Bowley pops over in second. So swinging out of the back straight, two fences left to jump. The odds on favourite, Carruthers, looking very good at the moment, but he's still got two to jump, and the second last is the ditch. Here they come back towards us. Maddie Batchelor in the Oxy Partnership colours on Carruthers. This is two out. Beautiful jump. He hasn't put a foot wrong as yet, but there's still the 18th and final fence to jump. Bally Bowley very tied in second. These two miles clear. There must be about 50 lengths between first and last. Carruthers. Maddie Batchelor looks around. He'll need binoculars to see where the others are. He's got one fence left to jump. The long odds on favourite. Coming towards the... 18th and final fence in the Weatherby's Bloodstock Insurance Beginner's Chase. Carruthers comes down to it now. Here he comes. He's okay. No worries at all. So Carruthers is coming home. Well done, Lord Oaksy. Nice win. I hope you enjoy watching this one. Carruthers wins and wins very well indeed. In second place, we've got Bally Bowley. He's run a good race in second. Carruthers beats Bally Bowley at Fakenham. Let's go and join Des Skyhill at Punchestown. Come now to make the